So now having seen how we can use the most basic class, which is just for organizational purposes, let us now go ahead and actually try to create some physical components of our model. So let us start by creating a global reference frame or a ground frame. Uh, now the model that we will be making in this tutorial will be a two link model, a simple planar two link model. And so this needs a ground frame. Now the problem is at this juncture, we, or rather you wouldn't know, or you may not know uh, what class we would need to create this global reference frame. So for this, uh, I will now uh, point you towards where to find help in anybody. So there is, of course, a drop down menu at the top, which I've just highlighted. And if I click on this, I can then go to the AnyScript reference manual. And this is your ultimate reference manual for anything uh, related to your classes. Now over here, I will go to the search functionality and I'm just gonna type in the keyword, which was ground frame. That is basically what we were trying to find. And when I click on list topics, there are multiple search results, but I'm gonna click on the first one because that sounds like what I want. So this class is called any fixed ref frame. And there is a description of this class, which obviously it does say that there it can be used for modeling the ground of a mechanical system. And this section over here are the members of the class, or basically when we create an object or when we create a model component using this particular class, these are the properties that we assign to that object. So in this case, those properties are the location of the origin, which is a vector. And of course, the rotation matrix of the frame with respect to your absolute, your drawing frame. And this is a three by three matrix. So now we can actually go back to the any script window. And one option was to, to obviously to manually type in the, the class and its uh, and the properties which define the class. But let's take a slightly more uh, lazy way out. And this is actually also very useful, especially when you're dealing with classes that you've never used before. So for this, I will uh, first point out that there are a few tabs on the left of your scripting window. And over here, I'm gonna click on the tab that says classes. And over here, you have a class list. Now on the class list, I'm gonna search for any fixed ref frame because that was the one that we just looked up in the search manual. And I can find that over here. So I'm gonna click at a point that is in the, in the any strip window, which is within my, the curly braces of my model object and then right click on any fixed ref frame and say insert class template. So now anybody has automatically inserted a template uh, over here, which I can fill in with. So it asks me to fill in an object name, which I'll just call the ground frame. And over here, you can see that there are two qual that the, the quantities origin and axis have actually been commented out. So this is how you comment out in anybody by using the double forward slash. So these have been commented out because they are optional. Uh, even if you did not specify them, the, the class would have assumed these values that you see over here to be the default values. But for now, let's confirm that these are the values that we want. And now I can uh, actually reload my model. So I'm gonna click on the button on the top, which says load model. And the message window says that the model has again been loaded successfully. So let us see what this frame looks like right now. So if I go to the window drop down menu on the top and click there and go to model view, we see just complete blankness. And this is because in anybody, uh, the objects that you create, the objects of a certain class that you create aren't automatically visualized. So if you want to visualize an object, you actually need to use a drawing class. And I'll show you what that means right now. This is actually an advantage because when you build really complex models with many components, you don't, or you may not want all of it to be displayed. So to display the ground frame, I'm actually going to create some space within the curly braces of the ground frame. And over here, I'm going to insert a second class. So I'm going to browse through the class list again, and you will chance upon these any draw series uh, or classes. And within any draw series, there is a class called any draw ref frame. 
and I'm going to insert this class template within the any fixed ref frame that we just inserted. So over here, you can see that there is there are many components of this class, but I'm going to delete all of them. I'm fine with the class using default values for all these properties except uh, these two. The first one, which is RGB, is uh, the, the color, which, which is specified on a normalized scale of red, green, and blue. And I'm going to make it completely red. So I'm going to make the color 100. And this is a vector, of course. And this second property is the specifies the size of the reference frame that will be plotted. So right now it says one, one, and one, which means that each of my three coordinate axes will be one meter long. And I think this might be a little too big. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to multiply this by 0.1. So now all my three axes are just going to be 10 centimeters long. And I'm going to give this object a name, which is going to be draw ground frame. And now I can go ahead and reload my model. So now if I go to the window and model view, you can now see that there is a, a red reference frame that has appeared. Now, if I want to know more about the any draw ref frame class, what I can do is look it up in the reference manual. Alternatively, uh, one thing I can do is just click my cursor or put my cursor on the any draw ref frame text and then press the F1 key. And this automatically opens up the, the page for any draw ref frame in the reference manual. In the next section, we will learn how to add a rigid body segment to the model and also learn some uh, cool tips and tricks for navigating any script and the model tree.